Township Deer Park. We're going to call our Sycamore Township Deer Park Jed Board meeting uh, to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is appointment to Vice President. We currently have uh, Greg Fusero as Vice as Vice Chairman. Excuse me, Vice Chairman. Uh, do we are we do we have to re redo that? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um, just just to secure that, I'll make a motion that we uh, that I'll, nom I'll, I'll nominate I'll um, nominate uh, Greg Fusero to be vice chairman. I'll second that. Motion and a second. Any further discussion, Mr. Kellams? Mr. Kim? Yes. Mr. Reed? Yes. Aye. Aye. Sarah. I was reluctant. <laughs> yeah, that was well, I haven't seen my job description. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll take care of it. <laughs> yeah. So I believe actually this was, uh, I believe Beth put that on there because she thought it was going to be Cynthia because before it was, uh, what no was explanation. Ishmael. 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 Before yeah. him was Tim. Yeah, right. So I believe that's why she had that on. Good explanation. So, she thought it was vague. so I'm but, going. I'm going to. So we just we're going to keep Greg as vice chair. Yes. And we're going to add Cynthia to yes. the to the. Okay, I'll make a motion that we add um, uh, Cynthia to the uh, board. Second. Oh, second. No. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kellams. Mr. Kent. Yes. Mr. Wigman. Aye. James. Aye. <clears throat> the next item is approval of minutes you have in front of you uh, minutes from June 7, 2022. Uh, can I get a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion. We have a second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kellums. Mr. Camp. Yes. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Fusero. Yes. Okay, the next item is district update. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask who's got that, Tracy. So we received a, an email from DJ because he couldn't be here, obviously. He uh, he visited the construction project, he visited the site, spoke to the project manager uh, regarding the need to file payroll records and to contact their income tax office. Uh, they did reach out to the tax office, provided all the information for filing to the tax office. Uh, he said their most significant comment uh, was that they didn't know they were in a JED and had to pay uh, income tax. So uh, Deer Park has still not received no. uh, any payroll income tax uh, distribution yet. Okay, so do we know how, how maybe uh, Katie, you might be able to answer this. Do we know, can we go backwards to ensure that we collect all of that? Even though they're they're negligent and delinquent, yeah. Okay. So maybe you just need to send the trial balloon up with the uh, message up with BJ to make sure that we go backwards on that. Greg, you 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 had a look on your face like I was. Uh, that was Nair. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. It's with the hotel. It's with the hotel. I think not. Oh, that's right. yeah. yeah, that's right. So yeah, it was not part of the chat, but the hotel is definitely uh, yeah. an issue. Okay, so it's just current code. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, any other uh, discussion, questions, comments, updates? Uh, hearing none. Next, uh, we'll set our meeting dates for two thousand and twenty-three. Do, or, do we, we have, would like to set them with the same dates as the JED yep. meetings, JEDs, which would be June 6th, September 5th, and December 5th. Okay. So that is the, that, those are the three dates for uh, the remainder of, um, of 2023. If there are, is no other business, we will take a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Motion second. Mr. Kellams. Camp. Yes. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Fusero. Aye. Ms. Sarno. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <clears throat> Jed's Ken.
We're going to call our Sycamore Township Jazz Northwest, Northwest meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of minutes from December 6th. Do we have a motion? Yes. Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kellums. Mr. Kellum. Yes. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Mr. Schwagman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Westmore. Yes. Okay, next item on the agenda is a district update. You have it, should have it in front of you. You should have it in front of you. Uh, if you scroll up, there you go. No. Next. No, go down. Oh, right. Keep here. going. Next page. Next page. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Keep going. The red. More. We want the stuff with the red. <clears throat> So that's just the, the last one. We'll do the top of that thing. So if you go down a little more. Good. No, 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 no. <laughs> you go to the next slide, please. Okay, next slide, please. Thank you. There we go. So you can see what we have for the year there. Uh, every month has been up since 22. January was up 4%. February was up 9 And for the year, uh, for January and February combined, we're up 7%. Deposits of $190,084.09. Looks good. Yeah, very good. So, February's collection distribution was $78,919.36 to the township, $8,768.82 to Dearborn. So, uh, 23 is shaping up to be a good year so far. Excellent. Okay. Um, any other business? If not, um, we will set our meeting. Uh, our next our meetings for 2023 will be at four o'clock on June 6th, September 5th, and December 5th. And if we do not have any other business, we will take a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. We're going to make a call our meeting to order the Sycamore Township Jets Kenwood Southwest District. First item is approval of minutes from December 6th. Do we have a motion? So, so moved. moved. Motion second. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Mr. Kellums? Mr. Reardon? Yes. Mr. Weedman? Aye. Ms. Schwagman? Aye. Mr. James? Aye. Mr. Warmer? You here. Mr. Rosen? Yes. Okay, next item on the agenda is the district update. And maybe you can now tell us a little bit about this district update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can go up there, that's fine. Either way, or you can sit in the chair, doesn't matter to us, we're easy. Go ahead. We'll make it all official <laughs> right here. So um, I'm Jenny West, I am transitioning between tax administrator and finance administrator. So we have someone new in our office, Ken, who may be coming at some point. Update for the Southwest JEDS is that um, we're 2% down from 2021 in, in 2022. Most of the reason for that is we've had um, quite a number of folks that are now working at home and staying at home rather than coming back to their offices. One company in particular had uh, quite a large hit um, in that way and most of the refunds that we paid out in 2022 are attributed to that company. Um, and we had twice as many refunds in 2022 as we did in 2021. But that figure went from about 10,000 to 20,000. Okay. So th that's the dollars we're talking about. Um, so I think we may be kind of coming to a new plateau as far as our, those work at home versus working in the offices are kind of settling out. No. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? That you want to scroll down to the next page. Okay, so we confirmed that the nineteen nine thirty eight is from is for two thousand first quarter two thousand twenty three. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, if there are if there's no other business, we will. Um, We'll assign new dates for new uh, dates and times for the uh, 
remainder of the year. Uh, those dates have been set, so we set those in December. Uh, we did. Okay. Next meeting is June 6th. No need to set that any further. If there's no other business, we'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to call our uh, our East Jed's uh, East meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is appointment of treasurer. As you know, Tom Muller is no longer with us. We have Michael Norton Smith, and uh, I'd like to make a uh, motion to uh, to uh, nominate Michael Norton Smith as our treasurer. Second. second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kellums. Mr. Bourne. Yes. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Ms. Schwegman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Stava. Yes. Next item on the agenda. Welcome, Michael. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from December 6th. We have a motion. I move we approve the December 6th minutes. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kellums. Mr. Bourne. Yes. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Ms. Schwagman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Stalman. Yes. Okay. Next item on the agenda is district update. Uh, do you want to go through this, Michael? Sure. And uh, I will attempt to, uh, to do so from my recollection of uh, what Mr. Moeller presented, but I hope to see if there are specific questions. Um, I'm okay. happy to circle back. Um, I provided the December 2022 year end and then also the January 2023. Uh, we are still in the process of reconciling the February numbers, so I'll present those at a, at a future meeting. Uh, but just wanted to show a snapshot of where we ended up last year and then also uh, kind of what we have seen so far this year. So. Uh, year to date gross collections, or excuse me, uh, end of year gross collections for um, the East Jed. Um, we ended up with $2,414,643 in gross collections. Um, that was down approximately 3% or so from year to date uh, in 2021. Um, breaking that down, um, we had a $48,292 collection fee to the city of. Madeira, uh, same refund allowance at two, excuse me, uh, $98,202.87 uh, refund allowance, and then an administration allowance of 1%. Um, that may be a typo on the 98, because those numbers should be the same. Uh, but in general, uh, that will net collection up to uh, $2,262,875. Um, after we back out the interest income or uh, fee refunds of $17,669.85. Um, the net distributable amount is $2,261,105. Um, 90% of that is to the township is $2,034,994. And the 10% of the city of Madeira is $226,110. So, um, again, that's where we ended up at the end of last year, just a tad down, flipping to the January of 2023 collections number. Um, you can see the downward trend in gross tax collections continues. Um, it's actually exacerbated a little bit through the first month of the year, so hopefully we see that leveling off as we continue throughout the year. Uh, but uh, just in general, uh, in January, we collected 180000 $866, um, which was down approximately 20% from the $228,023 that we had in 2021. Again, the 2% collection fee and 2% refund allowance were both at $3,617. Um, we didn't have an administration allowance taken out of that, so the net collection was uh, $173,631. Uh, we had $138 in bank fees, so the net distributable, distributable amount is $173,493. Of that, uh, the 90% to the township is $156,144, and the 10% uh, to the city is $17,349. Does any of this have to do with the uh, the uh, space 
juggling over at Kenwood Towers? So we're actually looking at, at, at this to see kind of what we can discern from uh, our kind of internal earnings model. We think it has something to do with the uh, kind of the work from home phenomenon and, and office space and whatnot. Um, but again, and there also, I think that there's, I would be, I hope, I, I would hope that the 20% down does not maintain itself throughout the year. I hope that this is maybe falls on you know, a pay period or something um, and that we start to make up a little bit of that ground, but I would, be, I would not be surprised if we were down a little bit um, from the previous year. Okay. I know that uh, a big employer moved from the central to the east district and um, uh, another, another big employer in the east was kind of like downsizing and I think they may be having okay. their people stay at home a little bit more so um, I was curious if that had impact on it okay anybody else have any other questions yeah just Michael you may not know but how do we as people come and go in and out of the buildings how how does the city maintain and ensure that those new tenants understand what they're withholding and who and how and the the, the so I can get specific information for you, but uh, I know our tax department does on a regular basis communicate with with folks who are moving in and you know educate them about um, kind of the Jed Z requirements for payment. Um, so we do have a, a pretty steady flow of new folks who are filing for the first time. So we do try to stay on top of it through the, the tax department. Uh, but I can get specific information about how that's communicated and report back. Just next quarterly review. Sure. Good. Okay. Anybody else have anything else? If not, we will take a motion to adjourn the East meeting. Motion we'll adjourned. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Uh, we call our central meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is appointment of treasurer. Uh, make the motion to nominate uh, to appoint Michael Norton Smith to treasurer for the central district. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kelms. Mr. Bourne. Yes. Mr. Weaven. Aye. Ms. Schweigman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Stoller. Yes. Okay. Michael, welcome again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, first, next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from December 6th. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion? Mr. Kelms. Mr. Bourne. Yes. Mr. Weaven. Aye. Ms. Schweigman. Aye. Mr. James. Aye. Mr. Stoller. Yes. Okay, next item on the agenda is the central update. Michael, you wanna walk us through it again? Yep, absolutely, Mr. Chair. So uh, kind of as with the East, I provide both the December, 2022 and the January, 2022 elections. Um, kind of a very different story from the East. Uh, in the central, we are up significantly at the end of 2022. Um, you can see we brought in uh, $3,149,243 um, as compared to $2,599,168. Um, that's approximately a 21% increase over the prior year. Uh, out of that net or gross, gross collections, um, we had the 2% refund allowance and collection fee at $62,984 each. And then $5,182 in the administrative allowance, leaving a net collections of $3,018,091. We had $1,376 in interest income and fees, leaving a net distributable amount of $3,016,714. The township's distribution of that is $2.7 million, $2,715,043. And the city's distribution is $301,671. Moving to January of 2023, uh, again, the trend of being up continues here. Uh, the gross collection amount was $278,860 compared to $229,000. 344 in 2021. Um, that's a 20, excuse me, a 2022 rather. Um, so that's a 22% increase uh, for the current year. Um, we had $5,577 for both the 2% collection fee and refund allowance. Um, and so that brings our net collections to uh, $276,705. We had $96 in interest fees or interest income and fees. 
Um, so the net distributable amount is $276,609. The township's distribution of that is $240,848. And the city's distribution is $26,760. Okay, looks excellent. Now, I, I was anticipating this increasing based on my meeting with the general manager at the mall, but not this much. <laughs> this is pretty good. And, and just as a note, if you were to take both of them and combine the two jets, um, we're actually tracking about 1% up or so for both of them. So we're kind of holding the line, if you will. Okay, good. Great, thank you. Anybody have any uh, questions, comments? If not, uh, our next meeting is June 6th, immediately following the Jed's East meeting. And if there's no other business, we'll take a motion to adjourn. We adjourn. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.